Hello, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach, and today we're talking about dinner. We're talking about 10 simple, healthy dinner options for busy people and for those of us on a weight loss journey. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload every Tuesday and Thursday and you definitely don't want to miss out on all of my videos. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, as well as links and discounts to all of my favorite healthy things. I do offer personalized macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. So take advantage of a weight loss and nutrition coach in your corner. So let's go ahead and jump into these 10 simple, healthy dinners. That preparing healthy dinners, planning ahead, doing the grocery shopping is a pretty complicated process. But making sure that you have healthy options on hand that are easy and sustainable and convenient is really important for a healthy lifestyle. A lot of us want to keep mealtime simple. We want simple recipes that nourish our body, that are low in calories, fit into a healthy lifestyle, and of course that help us see the scale move in the right direction. So here are 10 go-to healthy dinner recipes. I will make sure that all of the recipes I share with you today are linked down in the description box if you're interested in incorporating some of these into your life. Number one is going to be stuffed sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are such a great source of carbohydrates. They are a complex carbohydrate, so they are slow digesting and they do your body a lot of good. They're very different than processed, easy on the go carbohydrates like cereals, chips, cookies, and even regular potatoes. Sweet potatoes are a much healthier option. They're loaded with beta carotene, vitamin C, potassium, and lots and lots of fiber. You can stuff a sweet potato with pretty much anything that you want. We have sweet potatoes at least once a week in this house. And the best way to prepare stuffed potatoes is to bake your potato, scoop out a portion of the inside, all of the inside. If you're going to mix the potato itself with some other ingredients like vegetables or a protein source, you can actually scoop out the entire potato, mix up the filling, put it back in, and you can even pop it back into your oven for more of a twice-baked stuffed potato. It's super versatile, it's super simple, and lots and lots of flavor combination options out there. Another great healthy dinner option are grain-based bowls. They're simple, they're adaptable, and again, the flavor combinations and what you can add to these bowls is endless. If you follow a gluten-free diet, you can use gluten-free grains, things like quinoa and bread brown rice, you can even add regular white rice, pasta, any type of grain to these delicious bowls. Grains provide a lot of nutrients, magnesium, and again are a great source of fiber. Studies high in good for you grains can really help prevent a lot of health conditions. Colon cancer, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes, just to name a few. To prepare these bowls, it's very simple. Prepare whatever grain that you want to add to your bowl and then load it up with your favorite vegetables, protein sources, sauces, and toppings. Again, the combinations are endless. You could eat a grain bowl every single day of the week and never get tired of them. One of my favorites is a green goddess Buddha bowl. This is one of the recipes that I'll have linked in the description box for you. This is a combination of brown rice or really any grain of your choice. Roasted broccoli, sugar snap peas, avocado, hard boiled eggs, toasted pumpkin seeds, and any yogurt or creamy based dressing. It's so good. It's a great way to get in lots and lots of greens and lots and lots of vitamins, nutrients, and minerals. Number three are veggie loaded frittatas. We know how good eggs are for protein, fat, and of course for weight loss. Eggs aren't just for breakfast. Eggs are great for snacks, lunch, dinner. You can incorporate eggs into most meals and snacks throughout the day. And frittatas is a great way to really load up on healthy eggs. Some of my favorite vegetables for frittatas are things like asparagus, spinach, sweet potatoes, zucchini, onions, broccoli, mushrooms, and tomatoes. But honestly, you can add any vegetable to a veggie frittata. If you wanna add some protein, you can use your leftovers, your salmon, your chicken, your ground beef, add that for a great source of protein. My favorite way to serve a frittata is topped with some fresh avocado or with a side of fruit. You can really, again, create endless frittata options. You can get in a lot of protein, healthy fats, and a big dose of veggies. 
Number four is a good old dinner salad. Again, a great way to get in vegetables and leafy greens. Big filling, huge salads are one of my go-to dinner options. These are really easy and great if you don't feel like putting a lot of time into your meal. The problem with most salads is they're not put together to keep you full for a long time. If you're just really focused on vegetables in a salad, it's not going to keep you full for very long. You want to make sure that you're adding in a lot of those other macronutrients to make your salad a little bit more well balanced. So make sure that you have a protein source, a carbohydrate source, and a source of healthy fats. So start with your favorite leafy greens. Choose your source of protein. Some of my favorites are salmon, chicken, shrimp, and even tuna. Add in lots and lots of vegetables, which will help get your veggies in and up your fiber content. And a great way to add in some healthy fats is to use things like avocados, a oil-based dressing using olive oil or avocado oil, and nuts and seeds are a great addition to salads. And to get in that final macro of carbs, you can top it with things like croutons. I love a good crispy fried onion and things and also wonton strips and chow mein noodles are really fun additions to salads. Just make sure that your salad is well balanced and full of all of the macronutrients so that you're not hungry an hour later. Number five is loaded brown rice pasta. You heard me right, pasta can be incorporated as a healthy dinner option. Most people love pasta, but all pasta isn't created equal. We want to make sure that we're choosing a pasta that's going to really keep us full and satisfied and that isn't as processed and actually contains some protein and some fiber. Brown rice pasta is delicious and I promise you it doesn't really taste any different than traditional pasta, but if wheat pasta or brown rice pasta kind of freaks you out, my recommendation would be fiber gourmet pasta. This is a staple in our house. Both me and my husband absolutely love this pasta. It's only 100 calories for a two ounce serving. Normal pasta, including the brown rice pasta, is about 200 to 210 calories. So it's half the calories of traditional pasta. It also contains 25 grams of fiber per serving, which is your total daily intake as a woman. So that is amazing. It has half the net carbs of normal pasta and it contains seven grams of protein. It tastes just like regular pasta. The taste, the texture, Everything is like regular pasta, but it's a much better option. We always have this stocked in our house and I do order this from Nutrition. I will make sure that's linked down below for you, but get your hands on some fiber gourmet pasta if you just don't wanna take the brown rice, protein, or wheat pasta route. Make sure that you're adding lots of vegetables to your pasta, a good source of dairy, and of course your favorite lean protein. Number six are one pot soups. These are fast, easy, convenient, and make great leftovers. Few meals are more satisfying than a hot bowl of soup, and this is one of those dinners that's very easy to make and that you can get several meals out of. One pot soups require less cleanup, they're easier, and you can even store the leftovers in that same pot. I have some favorite one pot recipes that'll be linked down below for you. Number seven are curry-based dishes. I love a good curry. It's quick, simple, versatile, and super easy to make. It's family-friendly, and curry actually helps reduce hard related diseases. They also help with high triglyceride levels and high blood sugar. A chickpea sweet potato curry is total comfort food and absolutely delicious. Most curry recipes take about 30 minutes or less to prepare, so they're great for busy weeknights. Again, I'll link some of my favorites for you. Number eight is probably my favorite food of all time. No, it is my favorite food of all time, and this is a good juicy burger. Burgers are great for families. They're family friendly, kid friendly, and literally everybody approved. You can make burgers out of just about any protein source, even plant-based proteins. Ground chicken, salmon, tuna, regular ground beef, and even lentils are great burger options. I love a good chicken burger with some homemade sweet potato fries and a side salad. You can serve your burgers on a healthy bun, a low carb bun, a whole wheat bun. One of my favorite ways to eat a burger is in a lettuce wrap. That crunch is so satisfying, and honestly, you don't really miss the bun. You can save the calories and the carbohydrates. Top your burger with your favorite greens to add in an extra veggie, but everybody, and I mean everybody, loves a good burger. Number nine is roasting a whole chicken, whether that be on a rotisserie, in the oven, in your crock pot, your instant pot. Making a whole chicken can provide a lot of meals throughout the week and can make 
a wide variety of healthy options. Roasting the chicken itself, of course, can take some time, but one whole chicken can provide several meals for your family. One of the ways that I really like to roast the chicken that makes it really simple is to put it in a pan with some potatoes, sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, veggies, and onions, lots of seasoning, a little bit of oil to crisp up the outside of the chicken, and pop it in your oven. When it's done roasting, let it rest for about 15 minutes before carving it. You can shred it up, dice it up, carve it into slices. It can make great sandwiches and leftovers for the week. Not to mention whole chickens are super, super affordable and very, very versatile. And number 10 is another one of my go-to meal options, and these are sheet pan meals. If you're not a fan of cleaning dishes, these are the meals for you. Sheet pan meals are all made on one sheet pan. Not only that, but they're a great, well-rounded meal. I always start with a protein source, whatever that may be for you. One of my favorite sheet pan meals is using a chicken or turkey sausage. I dice that up into about inch, inch and a half pieces. In the middle of the sheet pan, I add my favorite carbohydrate source. Maybe that's a sweet potato or a regular potato or maybe some fingerling potatoes. And then the third part of the sheet pan is made up of my favorite vegetable or vegetables. We love roasting broccoli, cauliflower, and our numero uno is zucchini. We love a good roasted zucchini. I always drizzle over just a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil, season it up, pop it into your oven, and the vegetables, the protein source, and the potatoes come out roasted to perfection, and it's one pan to clean up. So these 10 healthy, easy meals are great for a weight loss journey, for maintaining your weight, or just for living a healthy lifestyle overall. They are all kid-friendly, family-friendly, and husband-approved. Don't forget to check out that description box. I will link a lot of these recipe ideas for you so that all you have to do is click on them and prepare them for your family. If you enjoyed today's video and you found it helpful, give it a big, huge thumbs up and subscribe if you're not because I do upload every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on so you never miss a future video. Also with the recipes in the description box, you'll find nutrition coaching and links and discounts to my favorite healthy things. Go make some healthy, kid-friendly, husband-approved, family-friendly dinners, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!